Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to transfer files to GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application if you haven't already. If you do not already have it, just go ahead and download it from the App Store and after opening it up, you will be greeted by this this main page right here which is the home page of the application where you can go ahead and get started with your strings you have your uh, you can plug in your bass guitar and play and find any instruments and so on but basically we're going to go ahead and open up the recorder option right here you can use any of the options right here it's all the same menu and just going to open up the audio recorder right here and now it's going to open up a page that looks like this one this is our main menu where we can get started recording ourselves adding effects and so on so basically guys what we want to do to be able to import files is do the following you want to go ahead and open up edit mode so we're going to go to, right here into the upper left corner click the middle button in the upper left corner that's going to open up edit mode and now here in the upper right corner we will have a new button that we want to click click on that button right here in the upper right corner that's now going to open up this new menu where you can see we have our loops and files options so go ahead and open up the files menu and in the files menu as you can see there is now an option that says browse items from the files app so here is where you can browse your items and add any files that you have such as your recording save projects and so on that you'll be able to input right here into GarageBand but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so I hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye